All right, we should be live, guys. Appreciate your patience. What's going on? Got a great show in store. Shout out to everybody in that chat room, all my members. How are you guys? Good to have you here. Let's run a quick intro, but first, first. <laughs> Had to get that out of the way. Let's run this real quick, guys, and we'll get right into the show. too smooth <laughs> here at champion game what's going on guys a little bright in here hold on hold on i turned that let me see if i want this on do i want this on do we want this on or do you want it dark <laughs> hold on yeah let's leave it on for a little bit welcome back to the show guys i am your host coach eo great uh show in store a lot of funny things we're gonna keep it real in this broadcast like we always do uh real quick <laughs> quick announcement i gotta run this real fast all right for those of you out there <laughs> got a lot of funny shit man <laughs> got a lot of funny shit for those of you out there that just come over here to kind of just you know steal game and want to hate and you know that sort of thing i got something i gotta tell you how's your life buddy that's any <laughs> better than mine <laughs> it's true <laughs> one more time how's your life buddy that's any <laughs> better than mine Oof. <laughs> Yo, and shout out to the women that listen, the, that secret watch. We got the women on the outside. You know I love y'all, but some of you can get in your feelings along with the other men that get in their feelings. So I do want to uh, share something with you real quick. This is very, very important. Bitch, I give a fuck what you're thinking. Fuck your thoughts. I'm God, and bitch, you not. One more time in case you didn't, it, 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 just in case you didn't hear that one. Bitch, I give a fuck what you're thinking. Fuck your thoughts. I'm God, and bitch, you not. Amen. 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 Now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Had to pull out. Hey, hold on. You guys listen to me right now. This is how 
This is champion game. I want to share something with you. you the women are not going to like it. Who says you got to like everything in life? The beta males and the little the little softies are not going to. Who says you got to like it? But this is what the ladies like. Yeah, Debbie, is that Debbie? Yes, this is me. I want to tell you that I totally agree with you on everything you say. And I just want to know, Well, um, are you single by any chance? Um, because no. Because I think you look real nice. And, and I've, you know, come from Texas lately. And uh -huh. I've been looking for a nice man. And I agree with everything you say. And I like a man who stands up for what he believes in. And I just really want to meet you. Well, do you come down to something. Do you and understand? All these people, all these people. Do you I understand what I'm doing? Yeah, I understand. Do you, I do you understand you. if you get with me, I uh, will run the household as the father has um has the father has um you recommended. You control my world. That the I woman mean. that will give every will donate all of her um earnings into my hands that I may do my father's will. I, along I, with mine, gather I, our, I, gather I gather our kibbles together. You down with that? I'm down with that. I That's what I'm looking kids. for. I got seven kids, if you don't mind, but I am down I, with it. I, I didn't if, graduate if you down to, If you're down to raise them up in the ammunition of the Lord, uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm God. Them seven kids are my children. I love you. I, I can see something is there. I can see. I can. Oh, my God. You are, you're a very nice man, and I do appreciate talking to you. And I'm so glad. I thank God himself. That's all good and stuff for them. I'm, I'm serious about um, business. You know, it's business before pleasure. Okay, and, um, well, well, you handle your business. Next, uh, next caller. <laughs> Yo, you guys missed the game. I know you did. I know you just watching that. And you you see a floating dude around. He floating in the room and shit. But you missed the game. He told her business before pleasure. Bye, next caller. Two, he let her know what it is. I'm running the household. I'm God of this household. You're going to, all that money <laughs> comes in my hands. You know, what, you, you, that money isn't yours. The hunt, that money is mine. Okay. I will do well with the money. <laughs> you missed the game on that, man. Let's play it one more time for the guys that are like, what did he just say? What just happened? Yeah. Debbie, is that Debbie? Yes, this is me. I want to tell you that I totally agree with you on everything you say. And I just want to know, well, um, are you single by any chance? Um, no. Because I think you look real nice. And, and I've, you know, come from Texas lately. And uh -huh. I've been looking for a nice man. And I agree with everything you say. And I like a man who stands up for what he believes in. And I just really want to meet you. Well, do you come down to something. Do you understand? Stop the tape. I really love a man. Who stands for what he believes in. <laughs> Hold on. The game is so deep on this little clip. The woman's calling in. Are you single? He's like, nah, not really. What's your offer? <laughs> she throws him the offer. And, and and she says, I love a man that stands for what he believes in. Listen to the game. Yeah. Debbie, is that Debbie? Yes, this is me. I want to tell you that I totally agree with you on everything you say. And I just want to know. Well, uh stop the tape. Okay, check this out. <laughs> she said, I agree with everything you say. Meanwhile, today's man is chasing women that don't even like them. That disagrees with everything that they say. This is the kind of woman you want to consider going with. Let's listen yeah. to it. Debbie, is that Debbie? Yes, this is me. I want to tell you that I totally agree with you on everything you say. And I just want to know, Well, um, are you single by any chance? Um, no. Because I think you look real nice. And, and I've, you know, come from Texas lately. And uh -huh. I've been looking for a nice man. And I agree with everything you say. And I like a man who stands up for what he believes in. And I just really want to meet you. Well, do you come down to something. Do you and understand? All these people, all these people. Do you I understand what I'm doing? Yeah, I understand. Do you, I do you understand you. if you get I, with me? I will run the household as the father has um has the father has um you recommended. You control my world. That the I woman mean. that will give every will donate all of her um earnings into my hands that I may do my father's will. I, I, along with mine, gather I, I, our, I gather 
Uh-huh. Gather our kibbles together. You down with that? I'm down with that. I That's got seven what I'm looking kids. for. I got seven kids if you don't mind, but I am down I, with it. I, I, I didn't if, graduate if you down to, If you down to raise them up in the ammunition of the Lord, uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm God. Them seven kids are my children. I love you. I, I can see something is there. I can see. I can. Oh, my God. You are, you're a very nice man, and I do appreciate talking to you. And I'm so God. I thank God himself. I, 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 I think I, that's all good and stuff for them. I'm, I'm serious about them business. You know, it's business before pleasure. Okay, and, um, well, well, you handle your business. Next, uh, next caller. Hold up. Did she, she said I got seven kids. <laughs> he said, those are my kids. Yo, women come to you with a bunch of kids. He's like, yo, all them kids are mine. Fuck their dad. Yo, real quick. Are you laughing, Biatch? <laughs> you find it funny? <laughs> you find it funny? Huh? Wait, you you ain't call, you ain't hear me, huh? You get it again. Okay, I'ma say it again. I come in the name of Jesus. Repeat it after me, bitch. I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit, God Almighty. You know, rule of heaven and earth and every goddamn thing in between. You understand me now, Reverend X? You know, <laughs> churches would be full if we had more pastors like that, man. Who created your ass? I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. I, I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. The devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Biatch. Stupid bitch. Man, who wouldn't go to church, man? This is how it needs to be spit, man. Shout out to this dude. Stop getting in your feelings, man. Whatever works. Anyway, there was some good game in that clip, and I really hope that y'all saw it. I tried to show you. I'm telling you right now. Shout out to UG. What's good? <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Over to consulting group in the house, working at work. Shout out to all the uh, the members here today. Zero likes in the house. We got, who else is in here? Let me go to the top. I thought I saw a super chat here. Tamir, $20. Appreciate it. Salute, coach. Can you touch on when a man should test monogamy and know when it is right for his situation? Test monogamy. Well, first of all, a man tests what he wants to test. So we don't wait on the reaction of a woman. We don't wait on the instructions of a woman. We test what we want to test. We do what we want to do. So my question is, do you desire to be a monogamous man? A man tests what he wants to test when he wants to test it. We don't wait on instructions. Of course, if we have a mentor, someone that kind of opens our eyes and our perspective to some things that maybe we're a little clouded. But men, we do what we want to do. Why is this so hard in our society? Shout out to you, man. Good question. But what this is what I'm here for. Why is it so hard for you just to grab your nuts and do what the fuck you want to do? Real talk. Within reason, of course. You don't want to break any laws. You don't want to cuss your boss out. Eventually, I hope that hopefully that you become your own boss so you can call your own shots. You're going to work double, though. Remember that. Yeah, you think you're working hard now. When you, If you open a business, you'll be working double, double that. But we don't wait on instructions from anybody. When should a man do it? When he decides to do it. So you can decide right now at 2, it's 2.58 p.m. Central Time here on uh, April 12th of 2022. You could say, hey, right now I decide I want to do this. Right now I decide I want to do that. That's the answer to that, man. It's so simple. It's complicated. I'm going to be reading a, uh, a column momentarily and giving you my feedback along the way. Shout out to Vikram. Coach Eo has become an unbelievable content creator. I'm not a Christian, but I love the energy. Appreciate it. We always got to mix in a little bit of, we got to put some laughs in with the truth. It's easier to digest. Um, real quick, speaking of shit tests, uh, I've been saying this for a long time that you need to shit test women. Why is it that all these videos about women uh, watch out for a woman's shit test? Man, fuck her shit test. Look, at the end of the day, she has every right to want to know if she's dealing with somebody that's going to stand on what he says. Let me ask you a question. If you want to buy a diamond ring, a diamond diamond earring, diamond anything, do you have it tested out? <laughs> or are you just buying cubic broconias all day, every day? 
How about you weed smokers? You you guys know how you investigate the bag, right? <laughs> you like breaking it up. Oh, that's some fire right there. That's some fire. I heard about this fire. I'm not condoning marijuana smoke. I'm not, but I know you guys smoke. Y'all check it out, right? You check out the weed before you buy it. Yes or no? <laughs> I just want to know if you, hey, $20, appreciate it, man. Always look within first, of course. Yes. You don't have to wait on permission to do anything in this life. If you want to do something, you you do it. Now, if there's other people depending on you, that's a different story. There, there, there has to be some consideration clearly for other people. But if you're rolling solo, you have no children, you have no wife, how dare you be thinking this question? Man, it's time to wake up. Once clarity has arrived, don't ask that question again. And so you do what you want to do. If you don't have any obligations anywhere, you, you can make a decision at any time to become instantly what, what it is you say you want to become it's so it's so easy it's complicated society will never tell you you can do that they tell you it's a long drawn out process now it can be a process don't get me wrong certain things can be a process but really the renewal of your mind is instantaneous if you want it to be you could decide right now i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna shed these pounds uh i'm done with this relationship not just for me, but for her, too. We're both unhappy. I'm done. Someone's got to end it. If it doesn't end now, it's going to end badly, and then probably cheating will occur. Let's go ahead and just let it go right now, like a man. You sit your girl down and say, listen, we've tried this. We've given it opportunities. We've had discussions. It's not, it's not improving. The relationship is over. I got love for you. I set you free. Men can decide at any time if they want to change something. I want to work more hours. I want to give myself a pay raise. I don't, you know, I want to, there's some things I want to invest in this summer, this, this, this year. I want to invest in myself. Maybe perhaps I want to put some money aside to buy a new property, to buy a home. So you work harder, you work smarter. Okay. You start doing that right now. You change your ways. Do you understand? If you want to keep thinking poorly about yourself, hey. No one's going to stop you from doing that, and you'll continue to get the same results. And what will happen is you'll align with people that will co-sign those same opinions, those same mindsets. You'll align with them. This happens in Red Pill, Black Pill. I saw my guy UG at the Black Pill station. Damn, bro. Hey, enjoy yourself. I saw UG over there at MGTOW. I saw you, bro. I was like, wait a minute. This <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This is that dude that said he's a player over here? No, nah, okay. UG, you know I got to call you out on that. Hopefully you're over there representing this champion game. I'll be watching. But uh, at any given time, you could decide you could decide you want something different <laughs> at any given time. So just remember that. Very, very important. Today's fragrance, by the way, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And it's a good-looking bottle. Uh, yeah, I see everything, man. I, I float around this space. <laughs> I float around this space. Saw Spicoli call in the other day. Spicoli, he's making his rounds. He goes from real game, no theory, to uh, to, to the black pill, back to the red pill. And then he probably going to watch uh, C-SPAN. He calling in C-SPAN. Shout out to Spicoli. He calls in C-SPAN. You know what? I'm tired of this. Congress lady couldn't even define a woman. I guarantee Spicoli called C-SPAN last week. <laughs> Flip-flopping motherfuckers. Anyway, let's uh, put this on. Diesel, beautiful bottle. It's got a lion on the front, black and gold on brand. Definitely going to get you uh, some compliments. Definitely going to get you some compliments. Let's see what this says. Let's see what this says. Woo! A fragrance composition is based on a fresh. <laughs> Hold on. It's based on a fresh and green start of bergamot and galbdenum, followed by an ar ar aromatic woody chase of cypress and fir, <laughs> drowned in a resinous Almondy blend of labdanum and tonka in the bass notes. This is beautiful, guys. You got to get this in your rotation. It's not super expensive. 
It lasts and, it, and it, you get instant compliments. Six sprays of this, go out in, in the public. Someone's going to notice you. Scent is important. Don't underestimate it. Now, don't, you know, put cologne on. You ain't washed your balls yet. You, YouTube, chill. But you want to get this one. Diesel Spirit of the Brave. Black and gold lying on the front, down in the description. Get your bottle of this. It won't break the bank. Again, bergamot, cypress, fir, labdanum, tonka bean, galbdanum. Very nice fragrance. Getting your rotation. Crowd pleaser. Uh, nothing too unique, but sometimes <laughs> women are basic. I mean, they're beautiful. We, we bring in the right ones. That can be different. That can be very different and helpful and unique and special and wonderful to be around. Yes, we do select the right women. But ah, do you think women are like, yo, you got Tom Ford Oodwood on? Not many. <laughs> not, not many. And we do those things for ourselves. However, this fragrance right here, this fragrance right here, get in your rotation down, down in the description. You'll like it. All right. You'll like it. Ah. Everybody's going to show their cards at one point or another. And it's okay. Everybody had every, hey, listen, people can decide to listen to whatever they want to. But remember, the champion game message is congruency. It's, it's congruency. It has to be. Otherwise, who the fuck are you? You can't go one place and say one thing, and then the next minute you're saying a completely different thing mm -hmm. with different people. It's 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 it can be a bad look. So, uh, hey, if that's you, consider it. Consider it. Make a decision. Now you can do both, and that's not a problem either. If somebody says, "Hey, I like both," like UG, he might like to go over there to the Black Pill sometimes. Clearly, he does. I think he's a moderator, uh, and there's ain't nothing against those guys. They have their opinion. They have their stance uh, in the game, and they think what they think. I ain't going to say they're wrong all the time. They they say some things that are true, uh, and they say some things that I think are a little far out. But the champion game is just one. It's it's congruent, man. It's authenticity across the board. It's 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 ownership of of one's ways. It's ownership of one's ways. Personal accountability through and through, from the beginning to the end. And that's a special place. That's a special, very special place to be in life. And it's a very lonely road. Not many people on that road. 102 people watching. We appreciate it. Real quick. Shout out to Brock Lesnar. I'm coming. I'm just going to come as hard as I can. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well come hard. I'm coming. I'm just going to come as hard as I can. Okay, uh, here, I was talking about shit tests. We're going to get into it momentarily, but do you guys ever like test women? Remember what I said? You guys test things, right? I mean, I mean, before you decided that Hennessy was your favorite drink, you had to, t you had to taste it, right? You had to sit with it for a minute. <laughs> I'm just assuming everyone here drinks Hennessy. But let's just say your favorite craft, uh, what is it? Uh, is it craft beer? Craft beer, favorite domestic, import, favorite whatever. You had to sample it, right? You had to make sure that it that it suits you, that it sat well in your system, right? Same thing with women. They want to make sure before they allow you into their body, into their. Uh, some of you think. I mean, there's some women out here that don't 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 value their body, okay? But there's a lot that do. There's a lot that do. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Hey, if you enjoy it, that's cool, man. Just make sure you let them know the champion game is the real deal over there. They need to know. One second.
All right, I had a pet that uh, was throwing up. I had to make sure uh, she was all right. She made a funny noise, which one that she doesn't make. I was make, I just making sure she didn't get stuck somewhere, start choking or something. So, shit. I, I hey, hey. He said I dip. Shit. Come on now. Anyway, so think about it. We test everything. We test lemons when they're at the grocery store. Hey. We test lemons when we're at the grocery store. We're testing. We're evaluating everything. So why shouldn't a woman test you? The only reason why a shit test is bothersome to a man is because he knows he can't pass it. Let me repeat that. The only reason why a shit test is bothersome to a man is because he knows he can't pass it. And truthfully, the more that the woman thinks you're that dude, the more she'll test you in the beginning. See, a lot of guys out there say if a woman shit tests you, she doesn't like you. I beg to differ. I, I feel if a woman doesn't like you, she doesn't shit test you at all because she doesn't see you at all. She doesn't talk to you at all. She will dismiss you. So understand that right now. Just if there is a sense of something unique and different and special and powerful here, the woman will feel that. And do you think she's not bringing in her old ways into this situation with you, the two of you just met? Do you think she automatically just did one of those I dream a genie moves? And just changed into a different woman? Do you think that happens, guys? Hear me. Listen, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to give you some clarity that this manosphere um, is struggling with. Do you think a woman just changes the second you walk walk into the picture? I mean, I need, I need an answer here, guys. Participation. Do you think a woman automatically just changes who she is? As a matter of fact, in some instances, depending on the woman and where her emotions are, if she feels something really different about you she might even go into full defensive mode uh, do, do, do y'all do you understand what i'm telling you take it from me <laughs> if if a woman depending on where her emotions are again some guys in this manosphere who claim to have game and they really don't if you just listen long enough you'll see how very linear the game is a lot of the dating coaches i hear real talk with with all due respect they're trying their best but if you pay close attention it's very linear game linear it's they can only thrive in certain environments with certain personalities they don't they have a lack of of true understanding of human psychology and human nature and it's just very linear game So do, do you think women automatically switch up because she felt your <laughs> – hold on. Because she felt your masculinity walk in the room. Now she will – now you'll notice some subtle changes. Pupils dilate. Certain body language will shift up. But do you think she's just going to automatically surrender to you and say, here, take the pussy? In some instances, yes, depending on if she wants it. If she wants it that night. She's in a position to give it to someone or even you. She might give it to you. If she's shaved, <laughs> uh, her apartment is clean. She may not want to go to your apartment. Her apartment is clean. She shaved her legs. She shaved other areas. She's emotionally in a position to do that. She feels confident. She's been in the gym. She's wearing a cute outfit. She just got her hair done. See, a lot of the time you really do think it's you, in it. I wanna, I'm gonna have to break down this bullshit too. A lot of the time you really do think that it's you so much. Is it part are you part of it? Of course. Of course, you're part of it. But she already wanted it. Which is why I tell you a big part of hooking up with women is just going out and showing up and talking to them. It's not having rehearsed lines and shit written on your fucking forearm and wearing an earpiece calling me, although that has been done before.
It's just showing up and not talking your way out of it. Smelling good, perhaps. Wearing some nice clothes. Hit a few weights. I mean, look presentable. Don't look like a fat slob. A lot of the time, that's where, that's where hookups begin. But back to my earlier point, do you ever shit test women? Like, have you ever gone out? Have you ever gone out and had a bite to eat with a woman and tested if her teeth were real? <laughs> like, baby, can you do me a favor? Can you bite at the front of that chicken wing? <laughs> You're letting women hoe you, right? That don't have front teeth. That that don't have front teeth. You're, are you are you serious? Hold on. Are you letting women hold you? That don't have front teeth. That wear booty pants. That that put on literally fake booty pants. I'm asking you. You're gonna let any. Well, I don't give a fuck what she is really. But at the end of the day, you're gonna let a woman hold you. That can't even bite her food. She got a bite on the side. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a problem. Eli, I've said this before. Her mood, her attitude will be a reflection of her past experience with men. Not just with men, but her, her past experiences in general. But, of course, with men, too. I told you, you're not meeting it. You're not meeting her. You're meeting her past. I've said that many times. So do you expect that you, you, you think you're that dope? Now, there's some dudes that are dope in this world. However, I know most of you are not that dope, not yet. And it's not an insult. You just know you're not. You know you're put, you don't even know what to say half the time, which is why I'm gonna make this content. You don't even know how to build the conversation, you know how to lead her where you want. You don't even know where you want things to go. It's very important that I teach you these things because it's not being taught out here. Many fathers aren't teaching it. Clearly, society and the school system and all of that, they're not teaching it. But I want you to know, do you think the woman really switches up that much just because you think you just showed up? And you're running game on her? Yes. Again, to some degree, it is how you talk to her, how you make her feel in that moment. As we stated yesterday with Dr. Emily, uh, that does she feel safe with you? It's a feeling. It's a feeling if she feels safe with you. It's not your words. Yo, so check this out. I'm trying to hit tonight. Even if she wants to fuck, she ain't gonna, she may not fuck you. Again, half of you guys out here, including the dating coaches, are dorky, man. Let's let's be honest. Most of the dating coaches are dorky. You sit and talk with them long enough. It's like these are a bunch of dorks, man. It's true. You don't like it is what it is. Most of the guys in the manosphere that have a channel, you talk to them privately or you even study them long enough. You see, the problem is you guys don't have enough game to see through this bullshit. Dorks, man. You don't like it, leave. Is what it is. But I want you to know that you have to shit test women too. We'll call it authenticity testing. Both men and women should follow up and not rush into anything and make sure that you test people to make sure that their words match their actions, that they're not just selling you something they read in a book or listened to on YouTube or read on a Reddit page or something like that. Women should authenticity test you. And if you don't like it, you're not who you say you are. It's the truth. If you, do, if you have a complaint about a woman testing you, even with a quote form of disrespect, for example, Let's show this. Let's show this. Obviously, there's a big investment here. Real quick, shout out to Will Smith. When the pussy's so trash, you need to watch her husband crying in the corner just to bust. <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, remember, divorce is not an option. When the pussy so trash, you need to watch her husband cry. 
<laughs> crying in the corner. Just a bust. Hey, divorce is not an option. Shout out to the 21-year-old coach, EO. Damn, look at that. I had the buff Bagwell stash. New, 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 new world order. <laughs> I was rocking the buff Bagwell's new, new, new world order. I had I had the mullet, but bro, y'all can't say I wasn't ripped though. I look like I could rock, fight 15 rounds and get that championship belt. And I did. 21. 21. Shout out to Backyard Bronny for the five. What? Why does it feel, uh, why does it feel, wait, why does it feel like a failed night if I didn't hit after the date? I Because you, because shout out to Steve the Dean, because you hate yourself. I it, it, Listen, I enjoyed myself in the company, but fell into the trap of expecting sex. Bro, number one, maybe you're not a good closer. Two, why does it have to end in sex? I mean, look, if that's your objective, you clearly didn't convey that that was the type of night you were looking for. Let's just call it what it is. If you want sex, are you telling women, hey, tonight is sex night? For example, let's run an ad, shall we? Hold on. If you're not getting sex, you're not choosing correctly, and you are not expressing yourself in the manner which, which will result in sex. This is what it is. Let, let's go. Let's go here. Hang on. Did you wear the watch, Brawny? Backyard Brawny. Did you wear the watch? Just let me know. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Did you wear the watch? Hang on. Did you wear the watch? You know what time it is. Did you let the, hey, 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 let's get this handsome motherfucker off the screen right now, okay? He could do your laundry on them abs, all right? 21, who wants to see Coach Yo at 31? <laughs> I got a, hey, I, I discovered an old picture of Coach EO at 31 doing the Greek God pose. Anybody want to see it? Anybody want to see a man that does what he wants when he wants? <laughs> Doing the Greek God pose? Anybody interested? I'm sure that you are. Let's go real quick to the Greek God pose at 31. In, in the bar, man. I stopped at a little hole in the wall place. I said, fuck this. I own this bar. <laughs> Zeus, baby, Greek God. I do what I want when I want. I do what I want when I want. 31 years old. The Greek God pose. I do it wherever the fuck I want to do it. <laughs> People are eating. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> hey, look at everybody. Hey, hey, look at everybody doing hey, they're, they're, doing, they're doing their screenshots right now. Y'all ain't got the kind of balls I got, man. This is why you don't get the results. It is, it is what it is. 21, 31. I even think that night, too, I did. Uh, well, I'll keep that. <laughs> I'll keep that. <laughs> You know the black pill guys are going to grab that and probably. <laughs> Since they love examining other men. It'll be on Saturday. UG, you'll see it on Saturday night. <laughs> you'll see it. Now, shout out to those guys. Hey, I don't have a problem with them. I might show up one night. NW new 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 world order stat style. <laughs> I might show up. You might see me pop in there. Why not? I go where I want to go. 
It would be on some respect shit. I ain't going to go to somebody's platform and disrespect. But recognize game when you see it. So <laughs> you heard what I said. Look, if it didn't end in sex, you may have not have picked the right individual for your that date night. You may not have. And you also maybe didn't talk to her a little bit beforehand to kind of amp her up to kind of season that meat a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't season that meat, did you? You didn't rev up the engine. You didn't give it a little time to warm up. Did you fill on that thigh? Of course, consensual. You, you don't just grab women, but did you did did you touch her a little bit? Did you let her know it was fuck time? Did you let her know, hey, we're going back to my house? Fuck time. Did you do that? <laughs> Let's read this out loud. Everybody here, as a little reminder, a little champion game reminder that talk is cheap. You show who you truly are by what you consistently do. Not what you do on Tuesday and when Saturday comes, you're a different dude or a different woman or Sunday or Monday. But why you cons what you consistently do. And when your actions are congruent with your words, that's how you know that you're being a man. Shit, even a woman. An authentic man or authentic woman? Are people going to dump you? Are people not going to be interested in what you want if you're honest with them? Yes. Absolutely. Unequivocally, without question, without question that when you're honest with the people of today that lie to themselves, they will need a little time unless they're ready, unless you just trip their trigger. You got the look. You got that breath. You got that touch, you got that body, you got that swag, you got that walk to the bathroom that they studied, okay? They feel safe with you, you're not a creep, you're not pushy. If that's you and the woman is down, you got it. I will test everybody that comes to this channel, and I will do it with love and respect, but I will test. If I see anything incongruent, I will have to mention it. I will mention it. I will. What you do after that, your business. But I will mention it. Is this you? Is this you guys <laughs> waiting on a date? You got balloons. You got carnations. You bought roses from the flower guy. You know the you know the flowers guy. There's usually like a, a roses guy in the club. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you picked this up off the street. Is this you? Well, she already sensed you were a simp, and that's why she's running late. Now, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. There's two reasons why a woman will shit test. One, she shit tests because she cares. Two, she does what she wants because she doesn't care. Let me repeat that. There's two types of behavior from a woman. She will test you because she does care, and she wants to make sure... And two, she does whatever the fuck she wants to do because she doesn't care. Let me repeat that one more time. There's a woman and she does two things. She cares. So sometimes she acts a little defensive because she cares because it's scary to care. You realize it's scary to care, right? If you're a woman, especially, well, today, men like act like act like women, which is why they sweat women. And, you know, we're trying to fix that. However, do you realize, guys, that it is scary for a woman to feel feelings that she's that that, that are uh, foreign to her? Yes or no. If you make a woman, if you talk to her and you look at her in a certain way and you give her instructions as to what to do, not in a belittling way, but in an assertive way in a confident way, in a way to let her know, you don't have to think about much when you're with me. There's not much you have to think about. I'm going to cover most things. You bring me a delightful personality. You bring me your best self. Your absolute best, best self, I'll take care of the rest. Do you know that is a beautiful feeling for a woman, but simultaneously it's kind of scary. Vikram, $5. Thank you so much. Mad respect to, to your channel, sir. Thank you. Do you know that that's scary? Why would a simp and some soft dude 
that is groveling for her be scary? I I'm asking, other than maybe her hopefully not ending up in a trunk somewhere eventually because he didn't get what he wanted and he was being indirect and passive and he was trying to win her over. She might end up in a trunk by that guy. Okay, so women, be careful. Watch who you steal attention from. Watch who you give your body to when you know you're just running game. Be careful. Be careful. Manuel Hernandez, $10. Meet, uh, meet an 18-year-old, uh, met an 18-year-old while on a uh, weekend business trip. I'm 30. Had a great experience with her using your tips. It'll be a while before I'm in the city again. Do I keep in touch with her? Um, it depends on where she lives. Um, I would say that you should have made some sort of um, follow up, but that time, let's say you spent the weekend with her, had some fun. You say, Hey, listen, there's some distance between us. Obviously this won't be a regular thing, but I will be in touch. Maybe we'll set something up. Maybe I'll have you come into town to see me. Yes. We don't wait guys, guys, I know you don't know. So I respect the question and forgive me if I'm, if I sound like I'm belittling you, I'm not, I'm not belittling you, but you're a man. You're a man. We don't wait on women to do shit. And I know these PUA dating coaches, red pill people, and all this bullshit will tell you to wait. Some, some won't. With Respectfully, some won't. Most will. We don't wait on women to do shit. We tell women that we'll be in touch. We'll tell her when we're going to be in touch. We'll tell her when we want her to come out. Let's say it's April. Let's say you want her to come out in July, end of July. Say, listen. Make some time to fly out and see me in July, maybe the last weekend. We'll talk about it. I'll be in touch. Plan for it. This is how you, you're a man. You're a fucking man. God, I got to. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. W hold on a minute. You're a man. <laughs> this is, we're having fun here. You're a man. We don't wait on women to do anything, nothing. We don't tell, we tell them, hey, I'm going to text you tomorrow. Hey, I'm going to hit you up next week on Tuesday. Yo, there's some distance between us, but we had a good time. Plan on flying out to me late July, last weekend. I'll be in touch to give you the details. I understand that you're not being taught this. And in many ways, from these whack POA, PUA dating coaches and pickup artists and whatever, whatever tagline they give th th themselves, you're being taught maybe to be aloof, to be a mystery. No real man is a mystery. <laughs> I've been telling you this. Predictability with a real man is attractive. Only men that don't know themselves want to be a mystery. Hear me out when I, you're going to hear somebody cope and come over here and cope and say, nah, fam, nah, bro, I roll with you, but you're wrong about that. No, I'm right about that. A man that know a real men that value their time, don't waste time. We're not going to sit here and be in limbo and say, I'm going to wait on her to call me. Now, does that mean to blow her up? No. Does that mean to text her all the time? No. Does that tell, does that mean to send her gifts and memes and emojis and all this? No. And I will be doing a texting video again. It doesn't mean that it means to get in touch with her in a sincere manner, in a way that there's no bullshit and you let her know what it is. If for some reason she's not ready for that kind of stability, no problem. We set you free. Back to the streets you go. That's not necessarily a problem. I don't say back to the streets as in as if the streets are bad for you. The streets can be a great teacher. They, they were the streets were a phenomenal teacher for me. Phenomenal. The streets is not a bad place. Now after 12 o'clock, nothing good happens after two. <laughs> I will tell you. Very few things, very few good things happen after midnight, unless you have game and you know what you're doing and you know how to navigate different. But if you don't, and you're just aimlessly around, walking around, the streets will take you over. The streets will take you over. So if she's not ready for stability, 
Back to the streets you go. Maybe the streets and instability is a better fit for her right now. Do you realize that some women have to go and men, but some women have to be in instability until they've had enough, until they decide they can't do this anymore? Your stability. See, here's the problem with men that go, well, I'm a good guy. I would be good to her. Why doesn't she want to be with me? Because she wants instability. She needs instability right now. You know, you could take a woman that was once unstable, but made the decision with a man's help, of course, with a man's leadership. She decides I no longer want to be unstable and I want to follow a man's lead, specifically maybe you. Do you know that that once unstable woman could become very stable under the leadership of a man? Do you know that? Very important that you that you understand that. This is not an easy message, and, and really none of them are. No, are any of my messages real easy for you? <laughs> huh? Let's go right into this, shall we? Oh, I have a few other photos. Wait. I have a few other photos. <laughs> this is a man that doesn't have a mouthpiece. This is a man, you could, honestly, this is a man that didn't qualify or vet the woman properly. Here's another thing. I have to say this. Don't meet women during the day. I'm telling you right now, stop going on coffee dates. I don't care if she wants it. Women usually want to go on coffee dates because they don't want to fuck you. Okay? Understandably, they want to meet you out in person first and make sure you're not a creep. I get it. But she's got some hangups. Not necessarily a problem. But women want to meet for coffee dates because they don't want to fuck you, okay? Now, clearly, if you are me, you can meet a woman at any time of the day, but you're not me, not yet. Book your meetings with women when the lights go down. When the lights go down in the city. Book <laughs> your meetings with women when the lights go down. It's a different vibe. And also the woman knows that you booked it at night for a cocktail or for a drink because you're going to maybe attempt to transition it back to uh, your place. You think women don't know that? You think women don't know that if you book it out at some little loungy place, some place that's known for its sex, sexy vibe, it's got a sexy vibe to it, you show up in a black fitted nice button down shirt, Okay, you think she's not prepared. That doesn't mean she's going to do it. But do you think she doesn't know that you are booking it in this place at this time in this way because she she knows you may transition it back. You guys really want to go for a coffee, fam, during the day? This is why you don't get no pussy. This is why you don't get no pussy. You'll hear a dating coach say, meet her for coffee. That's not going to work, man. Now, clearly, if you're me <laughs> or if you have game, okay, and especially, look, if you hit it already, the two of you, there's been a, some vetting, maybe a little shit testing here and there, some qualifying. There's been some intimacy. There's been some sexual uh, exchange. Now you can go get a sandwich during the day because you know you're going to hit it afterwards. But telling a woman, let's meet for lunch, I know he doesn't have game. See, women are not going to tell you this. They cannot tell that they cannot. Women are indirect creatures. They're not going to tell you. They'll take your little coffee date. They'll take your little coffee date, Simp, because they know you ain't going to do nothing. Oh, I'll sit here and soak up his attention and be told how pretty I am and maybe get a salmon salad off of this fool. I'll get a couple of drinks. I'll go back to the office and then I'll anticipate seeing the guy who I, who I de do see for sex. Never again, free game, <laughs> never again book a daytime date, especially with limited self-awareness and understanding of how women truly operate. You're wasting your time. Again, you're a big dog, maybe. 
Another thing, if you're not a drinker, you don't have to drink on dates. You don't have to drink. You can simply tell her, yo, indulge, enjoy yourself. You told me on the phone you like margaritas. Have a margarita. I'm not drinking. Do you have to say I don't drink? You can say that, sure. I don't drink. You either like it or you don't. You either I don't drink. I don't. But I don't stop other people from getting their swerve on. Enjoy yourself. Is what it is. Now, if you want to lie to get pussy, if you want to lie, if you want to be a liar, then go ahead and just, I don't know, pretend like you're drinking. I made a video like that before. Order a Sprite with a lime. If you're not there yet, if you're not that um, confident in who you are and you can't go home alone and sleep on that pillow. See, some of you can't go home. You got to have that pussy. You got to have that woman. I get it. There are steps to this. Maybe you're not at master's level. I'm at mass. I'm at champion level, the top tier. I can say anything I want when I want, and I don't really care. I'm not going to say I'm going to be disrespectful or rude or belittling. I'm not going to do any of that because I have too much game to do that. Now, I might intentionally antagonize a person a little bit because I can see that that's what's needed in this moment. But on your way up, I'm on my way up, on your way up, if you got to sit there with a Sprite, with a lime, if you want to do that, I ain't going to tell you not to. I'm not here to tell people they're wrong necessarily. I'll tell you the best way to do it. Actually, I am here to tell you that sometimes you're wrong. I am. I'm going to try to reframe that, honestly. I'm going to give you the best advice that I can possibly give you based on my personal experience and my observations of human beings, which are a lot. And I have a lot of experience in business with women all together. Life experience. I've tasted, I've, you know, I had to grieve. I've grieved real hard in my life. I'm going to give you as much game as I possibly can. And I'm going to tell you the best way, at least for me, what I did. Do you, know, you realize human beings are not that different? Human beings are not that different. <laughs> We're not that different. There's going to be some subtle differences based on upbringing, environmental, cultural, whatever. Whatever you were exposed to, you sponge onto that, sure. But underneath, we're not that different, man. We all go through very similar things. There's some instances, some situations in my life that are very one-off that you might never go through, okay? But there's going to be some things that I, I just know based on living long enough that most human beings are going to encounter a situation that I'm talking about. Don't book dates during the day. Women know you don't have any game. They do. Now you're going to hear some simp come over here, but this is what we do in the city. I'm a professional man. I'll meet another woman. I'm not saying it can't. It depends. It depends if you are sexually seductive on that little quick afternoon meeting and you know how to transition it back to the evening. Can that happen? Of course that can happen. Most guys are not at that level. You're having coffee with a chick. It's too casual. Again, if you know who you are and you have sexual charisma, you could be anywhere, bro. Anywhere doing anything and a woman's going to feel it. But for the most part, let's get real. And if you talk to enough women, they're going to tell you that most men out here do not know what the fuck they're doing. Which is why advisors such as myself are very crucial in today's society. You'll hear the black pill people say that we're not. And I will tell you that the majority of dating coaches are whack as fuck. UG, take it back to your guys. Most of the dating coaches and advisors are liars. Behind the scenes, when you get to really know them, they ain't got no money. They have no money. They, very little money. It's all a show. It's all a gimmick. They are grifters. They will say what they need to say to lure you in. They won't be fair and, fair and balanced with their analysis. It's true. They won't sit with a challenging question. Take that back to the black black pill guys. Let them know I said that. Most dating coaches are whack. But there are some advisors out here that know what the fuck they're doing, and you're looking at one. And I'm not going to lie to anybody. I'm going to tell you the truth. 
trying to meet up with a chick during the day. Let's have a latte. Fuck out of here. If you want to smash, that's not the way to do it. If you have game, you can do it. I will say that. If you know what you're doing, and you, I used to mac on chicks at noon at Starbucks. Real talk. I used to go to Starbucks, meet up with a chick, and be macking on her in the parking lot and going up her dress and sending her back to Alta, the makeup store, thinking about me the whole day. It is what it is, and I did it. Why? I have game. I have self-awareness. I know what I'm doing. Can I teach you how to do that? I'll be honest. Probably not. Probably not. Could, can you pick up some game from me? Absolutely. It depends on how committed you are. I have annual clients right now. I know they'll never succeed. I'll be honest with you. I know they don't have the desire, the commitment, and the killer instinct to follow through. They don't. They're too weak. And I know it. But what am I going to do about it? I can't walk you there. I can't tell you, kiss her now. Grab her shoulder. Touch her, touch her hand. I can't. I'm not there. I can help you break down the barriers in your mind that are preventing you from moving forward with your life. I can give you tips. I can help you dress better. I can help you with those things, but I can't lead you to the promised land. I can show you the way. I can point you in the direction. I can give you some game, and I'll look after you. But at the end of the day, it's your choice to remain committed and to remain focused. And so I will tell you, the majority of men, let me make sure I say this, the majority of men that come to me will never get the results they want. What dating coach is going to tell you that? There's a few, I'm sure. I'm telling you right now, the majority of men that come to me, unless they are fully committed, they're willing to, to go through those very rocky moments of having to be alone, having to go into solitude. They're not fearing the judgment of family anymore. They're not fearing the judgment of friends. They are truly ready to embark on this authenticity journey, this champion journey and they are ready to go, they have a shot. I do, I, I do mean that. They have a shot. But I'm not going to be there when that moment is. And you got to come up with something fast. You need to work a room. I'm going to make a video on how to work a room, how to network. I, I'm a master at it. And clearly there's a lot of men. There was people that yesterday, a shout out to all my subscribers who love comments. It's now in members only. So... He says, whatever coach, I can do it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it to yourself. You ain't got to prove it to me. Prove it to yourself. I know that your, your recent comment, shout out to you, said, you want to hear more killing the simp from me, which tells me there's a lot of simp still in you. Not a problem. You don't like it? Prove it. Okay, be careful. You don't like it, prove it. I've seen enough. I've talked to enough people. Most people are never going to truly make it. They're not. They want it one week. A little adversity comes. They're tired. You know what the, You know what this thing is, man? This self-improvement game? I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to lose 50 pounds. For what? To sit in your kitchen by yourself? You still can't overcome your mental battles. The weights don't talk back. I told that to a client recently. The weights don't talk back. You want to build your body up so women look at you? What are you going to say? How are you going to navigate that situation? How are you going to manage that situation? Are you going to be honest with her? Are you honest with yourself? Are, can you walk away from her? Real talk. Can you walk away? If need be, can you walk toward her? Not just walk away, but can you walk toward her? Can you be a leader? Can you be a rock for her? Are you a rock for yourself? The weights can't talk back. This self-improvement game, oh, I lost 60 pounds, I'm getting, I don't give a fuck. You're still sitting in the kitchen by yourself. You're still going out in public and you're afraid to showcase who you are, to demonstrate who that is. You're still, you know it. You, a, 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 an in-shape man that's not in shape in here, up here. In here, you're not in shape up here or in here. So what, you got muscles? You'll be sitting by yourself in the kitchen. How do I know? I coach many men that are handsome.
that are well-to-do, that are in shape, and they're all, I will say it, and I don't mean any disrespect, very soft mentally and emotionally. Now, it's my job to help you, and I will help you. And I do see improvement for those that want it, for those that are committed. And I'm not going to lie to you. If, and look, if you're 5'2", hey, look, if you're 5'7 or under, I'm 5'7. You'd never know it. But I'm 5'7. Never had a problem with women. Why? Mindset. And I think I have a good-looking face. How do I know? People have told me. Lots of people. Bottom line is this. I got a good-looking face. Call it what it is. Is it perfect? No, there ain't no such thing as perfection. Somebody might look at my face and say, he's not that good-looking. He's not my type. Fair enough. You're, you're entitled to your opinion. But truth be told is, there's some dudes out here that weren't gifted with nice skin, good nose, whatever. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and sell you a dream. If you are, if you don't have the genetics, you're going to have to be spectacular in other areas. Do you think you're going to be able to get away with having undesirable features, fucked up teeth, fat, and no social, no social skills? You're done. YouTube, chill. You're done. You're absolutely done. Do you know why heavy set guys get women? They got a mouthpiece. They make her laugh. They don't care that they're fat. They'll eat pizza in front of her because he's fat. He owns the fact that he's fat. I'm fat, bitch, but I'm dope, though. <laughs> then you got a guy who will, won't even eat. After six, oh, I'm on a diet. He won't touch her. He won't talk to her. He won't touch her heartstrings. He won't get inside her mind. He won't test her. He won't tease her. He won't seduce her. He's by the book. Oh, I have to get up early. I have to meet with my coach. But you're a sucker. You're a sucker, though. Under, the weights don't talk back. I got to, hey, quote me on that. The weights don't talk back, guys. That This is why you can commit yourself to working out, because the weights don't talk back. You're alone with the iron. <laughs> You're alone with it. The weights don't talk back. Women do. People do. How, do, how well do you adapt to people? Social skills is the most important. I would say it's important. More, it's it's looks. Looks are right at the top. I'm gonna tell you right now. Tell UG. Tell you guys, it's true. They are at the top, and I'm not gonna lie to people. They have to look at you and see something sexy, and then, but then, right beneath it is behavior that's sexy, which ties into social skills, which ties into talking, letting people hear you, talking, speaking. Loud enough that they can't understand you. So right with looks, right, right underneath is behavior. Then after that, how well do you take care of yourself? Can you support a household? Can you pay your bills? This matters. Anytime a woman is screwing you, if you have nothing... And you are nothing, and you can't lead that woman anywhere, and you impregnate her, she's fucked. Do you realize if you impregnate a woman, now is it her fault? Yeah, it's her fault too. No doubt about it. It's your, but it's your fault as well. Women should care. What do you do for a living? It's not to say that you have to tell them right away. You have to give them every intricate detail of what you do. But to some degree, you do have to show her you're a stable man. Shout out to my guy, Fearless Orozco. What's up, bro? If the folks only knew how much more value. This is one client that has never, ever not listened to what I said. He went out and implemented it in his own way, and he got results instantly. He is one of the few clients that I can say I'm proud of. I'm not proud of all my clients. I'm not. Just like, I'll go back to that in a minute. Just like all football coaches, they're not, they're not all that keen on every single player. 
They got some players on the team. They know, hey, you're just not you're just not the right fit. We give you the training. We give you the atmosphere to thrive. We put you in a position to succeed. You got to want it, man. You got to want it. You got to push yourself. You got to push the limits. You either want it or you don't. Or you go sit at the kitchen table by yourself. If the folks only knew how much value you help rebuild to the ones that want it. Keep it up and look forward to our next session. Salute, Coach. One of my most, probably my biggest contributor. One of them. And, and I'm very grateful. Shout out to you, brother. Here's your super chat. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. I think I missed another one here, too. Pardon me. Let me go back up. Coach Uppercut, 999. When you experience that the champion works, champion game works, and clarity kicks in, it's crazy because you'll be laughing because the truth is funny. Big facts. Appreciate all this game, Coach. Life-changing. I got a super chat button on the way for you, man. Thank you so much for that. Emerald Amigo, M. I see you, man. Thanks for joining us. And real quick, shout out to William uh, Keem for the 10. Oh, I already, I already saw this. We talked about that. Brolic. This is my guy right here. I like this guy. He leaves a lot of great comments. Shout out to the champ of the game. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for popping in. Thank you, Sean. Do the weights talk back? Is this the reason why most men, when you hear them calling the shows, I'm getting into shape and I'm going to the gym more? If you really watch them, though, are they, <laughs> are they getting any better mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and otherwise? This is why you want to go to the gym. It's the easiest way because the weights don't talk back. The weights don't talk back. I'm not telling you not to get in shape. Get in shape for you. Get in shape because, I don't know, maybe you have high blood pressure. Maybe your last blood panel didn't come back well. Even me. I have a, I have a pact with myself. Take a look. <laughs> I used to be in great shape, and I still am. Don't get me wrong. I take this shirt off. <laughs> I take this shirt off. You're looking at a fucking beast. Real talk. However... I want to drop about 15 to 20 pounds, and I anticipate I will do that by, the, by June 1st. My target goal, we'll see what it is. I'll be 42 next month. I want to get down to about 100 and 175, even 170 by June 1st. And I will do it. I will. I do everything I want to do, I do. Everything. Everything I want to do, I do. And even if I don't do it, I will do something else that's comparable to it. <laughs> Everything I've ever wanted to do, I've done it. And even if I couldn't do it, I did it in some other way. In some other way, I did it. One way or another, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Real talk. If I have control, and, and the de desire is always going to be there. If I want something, I'm going to get that. And you can count on that. And that's the mindset you want to have. Now we'll talk about staying away from things you can't control. There's a way to handle the things you can't control. I got a video coming on. Let's talk about it, shall we? So this column here, haven't officially read it. I did skim it. Shit test. What is it, how girls use it, and how to pass it in style? Remember the front monologue here. We all test. And if you have a problem with people making sure 
that you're not conning them. You are not who you say you are. As simple as that. Now, if you're honest and say, hey, I'm not that, that is not something I am right there. Look, you could be honest about what you not what, what you are not, but also be honest about what you are. So just remember that if somebody has a problem answering a question, and again, a shit test could be her showing up late. Maybe she's used to showing up late. Do you have to, listen, do you have to scream at her and belittle her and check her on the first date? You look foolish and you look desperate if you do that. However, you should pull her aside. You should, in a very playful manner and with finesse, demonstrate that punctuality is important. But do you want to ruin the whole date? Absolutely not. And only dudes in their feelings do that kind of shit. Thank you, Uncle Guns. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have you ever heard of a shit test? If not, you need to read this because a woman just might give you one. And you need to be prepared so you don't fail. Many of you have come across a shit test in some form or another when navigating your way through a relationship or a date. Chances are you've been subjected to one or more than on one occasion. Uh, more than one on more than one occasion without even realizing realizing it's happening. If you've had a girl react oddly to something you said in response to an offhand question, that was a shit test. It is her. Now let me let me read this again. If you've had a girl react oddly to something you said in response to an offhand question, that was a shit test. Not necessarily. That could be that you didn't present the question in a way that was clear to her. See, here goes here goes more bullshit. Not everything is disrespect, guys. But if you're an emotional man and you're being taught by a lot of red pill faggots, you too chill. Yeah, everything, everything is an insult. Everything is a form of disrespect. Not everything is. Sometimes you're a poor presenter. Sometimes she needs to clarify. We are human beings, and first, you know, it's an innate that you are going to look to protect yourself. So if somebody says something to you that they don't quite resonate with or understand, you may see some level of resistance. Does that mean she's disrespecting you? It can mean that. Most times it doesn't. And so I want to give you clarity on that. Are all red pill guys poor teachers? No. No, not all of them. Most of them. But not all. And if you ever want to ask me which ones I think are, 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 are legit, I'll tell you. But not in this broadcast. Another broadcast. And you can equally ask me which dating coaches have real game or they have linear game that, 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 just, that, that just tops out at one point. That's it. That's all you got. I can't go further than that. One day I, 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 will, I will answer that question. Did she become cold suddenly for seemingly no reason and is now ghosting you? That was a shit test. Not necessarily. She could just not like you. Sometimes the woman just decides she didn't know. She didn't know yet if she liked you or not. Maybe there was some level of attraction. Maybe she's lonely. Maybe she just got out of a relationship. Maybe she's like, what the hell? I'll go out on a date with this guy. I haven't been to that place. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe she's just giving it a chance. But. You say something in a dorky way or trying to impress her or it sounds gimmicky like you heard a dating coach say that shit. And she's like, yo, that was an instant turnoff. Now, I will tell you, should women should women tell you they're not interested in you? Yes, they should. It's good for the game. It's good for the game when a guy tells a woman Listen, I don't, I don't, there's no compatibility here. Doesn't mean you're right. Doesn't mean you're wrong. I just don't, we're, we, we want different things. And so let's move on. But uh, it was nice. It was nice to meet you. Equally, a woman should tell a man, not just ghost him, but tell him in a polite manner. I don't, I'm not resonating with this. I don't, I, I don't see it as a romantic possibility. But I appreciate your time and thank you for meeting me out. There has to be 
some level of integrity in the game, and it's missing big time. This is another reason why guys fear getting rejected is because you don't do any rejecting. And by rejecting, maybe I'll replace it. It's not necessarily rejecting her. It's just conveying that there isn't compatibility. That's the reason why guys are afraid of women because you're afraid to be, you are afraid to know who you are, thus convey that person to the woman. Do you think I have a problem telling someone they're not a good fit for me? <laughs> I do it all the time. Why? Because I know myself. I won't abandon what's most important to me. Will I make subtle compromises in places that aren't that important? Sure. I might be a little more liberal in some areas. Is it worth, is it worth squashing an entire opportunity for something that doesn't matter that much to me? No. I sh a man with game knows there's some level of compromise, but there, if there are things that I am unwilling to compromise, I, this, I, it has to be this way and there shouldn't be that many things, but there should be at least three up to three, maybe up to five, but three is a good number. You have to be willing to stand on that. You want confidence? Confidence comes from that. If she's changed her demeanor toward you after a lengthy conversation about your dating habits, that was a shit test. And in all situations, you've probably failed. I agree. I disagree to some to, to some degree here. Even look, it's about how you tell. It's about how you present to a woman. And sure, why are you getting any in, into lengthy conversations with someone you just met? It should be casual. It should be fun. There shouldn't be any lying going on, but it shouldn't be too heavy. It shouldn't feel like a job interview. However, we do know that we're both vetting each other. The woman is vetting us. We're vetting her. It's kind of unspoken. What if the woman is not attract, just not attractive at all? Well, you have to decide. You have to decide. Not at all? You're telling me you there's a woman who's not attractive to you at all? Yeah, you shouldn't see her. There should be some attraction. Physical and behavioral, there should be some attraction. If you're not attracted to her at all, like none, and you don't see any capability of improving her uh, to a point of satisfaction, you shouldn't see her. Guys, give me 30 seconds. 30 seconds, uh, I have to do something. Be right back. I should have played an ad or something, <laughs> but had to uh, do something real quick. Let me get this off the screen. I appreciate that question. Let's move forward. What is a shit test? Simply put, a shit test is an easy way for a woman to test what kind of man you are. I would agree with that. It's a way for them to throw a verbal curveball and to see how you react. And based on that, she'll be able to determine how much of a catch you are. That's true. And how honest you're being about yourself. This article probably won't go there. Real quick, shout out to Unique79 for the for the $20.
Coach, you can lay the foundation for us on what words to use with women, but eventually we have to use our own way of speaking instead of communicating as, as if it is scripted. Hopefully, I am. You're making complete sense. You're making complete sense. Thank you for the the uh, donation. You've been gone a little bit, but I've seen you in action other places. So, uh, if there's a reason for that, let me know. If you no longer want a wrench, I understand. I'll just remove it. It's not a problem. Thank you for your time, and you put in a lot of time. But if, if you no longer want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Just let me know. <clears throat> Sometimes your response to these shit tests is a deal breaker, and you'll never even know what you did wrong. That's true. Uh, that's why there's broadcasts like this. She's looking to figure out how you've been doing, uh, how, uh, how real you're being. So she knows whether or not to let her guard down and trust you. I said that at the beginning. Women are not going to just let any old dude in their body because there is a chance that your little weak semen, that your little weak semen might go into her vagina and a baby may form. She may not be thinking that, but innately she knows that. You think a woman wants your weak semen in her? I mean, real talk. I mean, your whole motivation is to smash. Have you guys ever thought about getting an STD or getting that woman pregnant? Is your life set up to bring a child into the world? Do you really do you even know this woman well enough? I mean, I'm not telling you not to have sex, but there's too many dating coaches so liberal with sex. And even me, I've been very liberal with sex. And honestly, I should be dead. <laughs> hey, I had to thank God in the mirror today. You must want me here for something because in many ways I shouldn't be here. Not just with sex, but in, with some very risky things that I've done in my life. But I'm blessed and grateful for the opportunity to still be here to kind of teach you these things. But you have to be very careful who you have sex with. You can get her pregnant. You can get emotionally attached. You can get an STD. It's very important. And so equally, if a woman has any sense, she will shed test you because she should make sure that before she allows you to insert your penis into her body, that you are who you say you are. And if she's not doing that, then she is lacking some leadership in her life. Both men and women need to get out of their feelings. When you sleep with someone real quick, you are in your feelings, man. Even men who want to smash all the time. Don't trust them, man. I've said this before. Don't trust a man who wants to have sex all the time. He is not trustworthy. He is not trustworthy. He's not even trustworthy to himself. And I guarantee he's reckless. Which is why maybe 10 years ago, I would have never even tried to be a dating coach. Although I had game and I was able to get women to bed for what? For what? Having a rotation of women doesn't even mean you have game. What's most important to you? Bringing a woman into your life has very little value unless you have a reason to have her there. Collecting women and just fucking them means nothing, man. There's in a real man's life, there's no there's no return on that. Very little return. What you got your rocks off? So what? Having a reason to bring a woman into your life and having a purpose for her and a position to put her in, even if it's casual, and teaching her something. That is the reason to engage with women, in my opinion. Nothing is worse than spending weeks getting to know a guy and learning all about him to then or a woman, let's just say both sides, to then find out that he's in love with his best friend <laughs> or he doesn't believe in monogamy or, as I once discovered after three dates, he wants to have a threesome with you and his ex. Now, look, I'll say this. If he's clear about that, if he's clear, hey, listen, I kind of still see my ex. Uh, we have a liberal sex life. Sometimes we enjoy 
women together. And I am considering, if you're interested, having you be part of that. There's nothing wrong with that. And a woman will, although she may not resonate or want to indulge, she will respect a man who's honest with her. But as she put it here, he was lying. He was lying to her. Gabriel Martinez, $10. Thank you so much for that, Gabe. Thank you so much. And here's what happens when you lie, men and women too. Women, you're not exempt. When you lie, then that that person is a well. It's it's not necessarily a bad thing, but now they are even more cautious the next time they are dating. And then because someone lied to you, hopefully you're not taking that out on a new person. But it happens more times than not. So when you meet a woman and you're meeting her frustration or her rules and her guidelines and all this, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But she may not bringing her may be bringing her best self forward to you because she is living in the past based on a prior situation. That's something that both sexes need to clear out of their system before they enter the dating game again. Which is why I tell you, don't tell a woman, oh, my ex cheated on me. Oh, my ex-wife left me. She took everything I own. <laughs> it's a bad look. Clear it out of your system. Deal with it. Learn from it and move on and clear it out and start fresh. Both sexes need to do a better job at this. Don't take a shit test too seriously. Women are just doing it to protect themselves, which I told you at the front end, and it's true. And even when you shit test, or authenticity test, as I like to put it, you're not doing it because you're trying to hurt her or anything. You're trying to make sure that this is right. You're making some calculated moves. When I hear people say, hey, just live in the moment, man. YOLO. Just live in the moment. Don't trust them. Michelangelo, thank you for the five. Don't trust them. Does having champion game bring a lot of, of course, of course, there's people right now that pretend to like me that secretly hate me. You think I don't know this? I know this. They're weak. So what? None of my business. You could feel whatever you want. Hey, remember what I said? <laughs> remember what I said? <laughs> remember the clip? Or this? <laughs> for shit, for kicks and giggles. Do you not worry about the, like, the, the, the I don't give a fuck. Fair enough. Don't give a fuck. How's your life, buddy? Bet you ain't better than mine. Oof. <laughs> of course. It comes with haters, bro. I expect it. It's a matter of time. Hey, sorry. I'm a dynamic man with a lot of heart and good looking. That's a dangerous combination. If you were gifted with a certain look and you and you can maximize that look, you can max see look i'm maximizing my genetics i am uh focusing on my strong points sure my height has never been an issue can some people see me as short of course and i'm sure they have none of my business it's really none of my business because there's other women that think i'm fucking sexy as shit i go in that direction why would i focus on those that maybe see me as not too appealing I don't care. We're not going to see each other anyway. Why should I care? You're entitled to that opinion. However, there's some women that think I'm sexy as fuck. SNO thinks I'm sexy as fuck. Tells me every day. Says I'm the sexiest man alive. Why would I give a fuck about what another woman says? And equally, there are men that will just feel jealous of you. The game is too good. Your looks are too good. You adapt better than them. You're smarter than them. You, you're a you're a hard worker. You're a, you're the hey, look. If you could be gifted and be a hard worker, you can't be touched. L let me tell you this: If you're gifted like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, they're gifted players. But if they didn't practice, practice, practice. Tom Brady, too. Tom Brady's not the most gifted, but you can't beat his mindset. You cannot beat 
his routine. You cannot, he goes to bed at eight with a supermodel wife and he's eating kale salads and drinking alkaline water. And he doesn't derail from the, from his system. You can't beat a dude like that. It's very hard. And jealousy comes with that. Expect it. Some people will never be able to achieve the level of success as you. Never. And it's frustrating. I get it. It's frustrating as shit. This is why it's so important to know where you'll best thrive at and stay there. Maybe early on in your life, you could try to be a jack of all trades and try different things out. No problem. I don't necessarily, because you're experimenting. But once you find that one area where you know, this is it. I'm great at this. Then you pound that industry. You make as much money as possible. And you become prosperous and make other people prosperous. And then if something, if some other inspiration comes out of you at that time, then tread in that direction. Eli, $10. Thank you. This is a great broadcast. Thank you as well. Thank you. Some guys be hating when I play your video. Hey, of course. Let them hate, bro. Let them hate. Hey, I'm not for everyone. And, and if they have a difference of opinion, they're entitled to that. Again, don't take a shit test too seriously. Women are just protecting themselves. It's not about you, but more about what they've been through. Exactly. Don't let a shit test throw you off your game. You can handle it. It's so true. That's why I tell you, why do you care about a woman's shit test? If you're remaining true to who you are and you understand human nature, you understand that people are walking around with a lot of problems in their head, man, a lot of baggage. Don't expect some saint to walk into your life, man. It's unlikely. You're not going to find some angel that's never been that never endured a hardship to walk into your life. It's not going to happen, which is why you have to have the ability to manage people, not to control them necessarily, but to manage them. They don't know where they're going. It's your job to give them some sense of direction. Do you realize that most women don't know where they're going? They don't know what they're doing. They don't know where they're going to be next year. They don't have leadership. Maybe the father wasn't there, or maybe the father was there and taught her nothing. This is why you have to become a very well-oiled machine as a man. Because if you ever want success with a woman, you're going to have to redirect her and give her some game and, and teach her some things and, 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 uh, and impart some wisdom upon her. Ricky Webster, thank you for the 10. Jem spoke and appreciate it and props do. Thank you so much for that. It's good to see some brothers come up in here, man. I really do appreciate it. I know I'm not a brother, man. I mean, I know I'm not black, but... I'm here for all, Ben. I don't care what your color is, man. White, black, Hispanic, Asian, doesn't matter. Middle Eastern, South African, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're all men. And I'm here to help women, too. Maybe they're not my target audience, but I, hey, if I got some women out there listening, man, I'm trying to help you, too. Why do women shit test men? You might think it's unfair for a woman to shit test men. So now you're wondering why you why they even do it. Is it because they're full of themselves? Can be, yes, and oftentimes, yes. It's a combination of a few things. Or do they like being annoying? Perhaps for some other reason. Many men might see the shit test, uh, see the shit test as a woman just being difficult or just being difficult. Uh, they might want her to sit they might want her to just to sit and look pretty and not put him to the test. <laughs> but there are a lot of legitimate reasons why women should test men. So let's go over some important ones that you need to know. Number one, to feel attracted to you. Unlike men, here we go, for the dating coaches that are, are linear and probably operate on only five streets, and in many cases, mostly married. Not all married dating coaches know what they're talking about. Some do. Some don't. Your game capped out a long time ago. And this is true. Not all. There's some dating coaches that are married, and they stay up with the times. They're still running their situation. But just like anybody, if you get out of the game and your focuses have gone elsewhere, 
chances are you can't relate to a guy 21 years old right now. The game hasn't changed. Just rules have changed. Just like if you look at basketball back in the 80s versus now, it looks different, man. The uniforms are different. The players are faster. It's still four quarters. <laughs> it's uh, Yeah, yeah, it's still four quarters. But the game, the rules have changed a bit. And you know what life is? Adjustment. You know what the secret to life is? Adjustment. To all things. I will go into adjustment in a future video why that is the most crucial aspect of any human being's life. Michelangelo. Champion game is not for everyone because dealing with failure is not so much easier than dealing with success. As a matter of fact, my failures are, are awesome, man. Thank you for that. Failure could be an awesome thing because it shows you who you are in those moments. You could be happy with little. Adapting and adjusting, that's exactly correct. Adapting and adjusting. If you can't do those two things, you might as well just hang it up right now because that's what life is. Again, unlike men, and, and, and you know the dating coaches will tell you, uh, women women want to fuck more than men, and and I'm not saying they don't, but they want to fuck a certain type of man a lot of times. Let's be clear, they don't want to fuck like you men who will fuck a fat ugly chick with a mustache. Don't lie, tell the truth. You know you try to justify that little mustache she had, that little Hitler sash. You know you justified that. You brought her some nair. And you came over on the first date with some nair. And you nared that mustache real quick. You know you did that. Women, on the other hand, they have a different motivation. Men see hot women and are ready to jump in bed with her immediately. And even non-hot women. Some men will sleep with anybody. Anybody willing to give them some sex, which is why you women need to be careful who you fuck with and make sure they wear protection at all times and not even fuck them. Women need to be more sexually disciplined. And I'm, I, I'm of the belief that they're more sexually disciplined than men. You throw a man, any woman that's willing to give him a little action, he'll take it. Guarantee you. Not all men, but most. Women need to be very careful who they let in their body. Very careful. These dudes are thirsty and nasty. Equally, men, you need to watch who you screw. Because these some of these women out here are equally dirty and nasty and unkempt and, and reckless. And living in their feelings. Women can be attracted to a man's confidence. It turns them on. Now, we're not talking about arrogance or cockiness. We're talking about real, genuine self-confidence. Let me read that again for those that think just being a cocky motherfucker. And look, I'm cocky too. I can be cocky, but I mix it in. I, I, it's, I'm still genuine while I'm cocky. But the best form of confidence is a man that is completely centered and knows exactly who he is, and he can walk. That's very confident. He can walk. Now, I'm not telling you just to walk every time something happens. Again, there has to be some level of compromise, especially if you want to deal with other people. No one is perfect. Not everyone's walking in to be exactly what you want them to be. No woman is walking in knowing what you want them to be. It is your job, and it is done on a continual basis where you are showing her what is acceptable and what is un unacceptable. Now, some people, they're just disqualified from the beginning, and you have to have the ability to detect that and let it go right there. But if there's some potential, you have to be a little bit patient, especially with today's women, or even women have to be a little bit patient with today's man, because everybody's distracted by technology and social media. 
Again, if you see something off rip, though, that is unacceptable and that goes against maybe your uh, certain prerequisites, a certain standard that you are unwilling to budge on, don't budge on it. Let it go. You're better off and less heartbreak at the end. Now, we're not talking about arrogance or cockiness. We're talking about real, genuine self-confidence. Number two, to be confident that you are attracted to her. Sometimes, Oh, yeah, don't give her any validation, guys. Don't give her validation. Don't compliment her. Just stand there like a prima donna, like a woman, and wait for her to compliment you. You know, if you want to experience love, you have to be love. If you want to have more strength, you have to demonstrate strength and stability. So many people desire to be things that they are not demonstrating. You want a woman to seduce you, seduce her. You want a woman to love and honor you and respect you, honor yourself and choose a woman that appreciates your loyalty, love, and, and respect. Too many people out here just blabbing what they hear on the internet. I want to be this. I want to be that. Yet you are no demonstration of those things. And it's obvious. Sometimes a woman will give you a shit test to see whether or not you actually are attracted to her. It doesn't matter how beautiful or average looking she is. If she has lower self-esteem, she will probably use this shit test to reassure herself. In order to do this, she might stop showing interest as much as she used to so she can see how the guy will react. All you should do is continue to act the same and continue showing interest. That is correct. But again, not a needy interest, not demonstrating a man that doesn't, that has to have her, but that a man that wants to have her. There's a difference. If you want someone around because the energy and the communication and the chemistry is right, you should remain consistent. But because you lack options and you hate yourself <laughs> and you can't sleep alone and you're a very lonely man, you will demonstrate neediness to a woman. It's inevitable. But guess what? Sometimes you have to do that in order to come back with the data and to get the reaction that you need in order to really realize, I can't be that anymore. That is not good for me, and that's not good for any possible romantic companion of mine to be needy. I have a quote, be desperate for nothing. You should really be desperate for nothing in life, for nothing, for absolutely nothing. Even Will Smith, d divorce is not an option. The second he said that, and even before that, she lost respect for him. Where was I? Number three. To see how emotionally strong you are, which is desperately lacking in today's man and woman, but man especially, it's just a fact. A woman might be moody on purpose just to see how you're going to react to her. Are you going to stay confident? She's looking to see if you are emotionally strong enough to handle pressure in a social situation. This is true. She may not even do it on purpose. She just may be feeling a certain way. And if you act just like her and respond just like her, you've lost. I had to teach a guy that recently. He knows who he is.
someone I coached, if she is emotionally strong and confident, but the guy isn't, then she worries that she's going to have to take care of him and protect him. This is true. And no woman wants to do that. They find it sexy when a guy is manly and that nothing she says or does makes him feel insecure or unsure of himself. Very important segment right there. Number four, to see how you handle life challenges. I already told you this a long time ago that women watch how you handle everything, how you handle your business affairs, how you talk to your mother on the phone, how you handle being sick. Do you go in the room and shut the door and fucking cry? Do you complain? I went to the doctor today. <laughs> I went to the doctor today, this morning. Was there right when they opened? I had a deadline. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Came home, prepared for a, for a broadcast. The body's going to get sick sometimes. Take care of it. Adjust. If every time you get sick or every time you have an ache, and, uh, ache or a pain or it doesn't go your way at work, she's watching. The woman is watching. Look how he talks about his job. Look how he talks about his colleagues. Look how he talks about his boss. Look how much he hates his job. Look how ungrateful this little sucker is. Look how he texts me. Look, and I get it. Listen, I get it. You don't know any better until you know better. So I, I will tell you this. You're going to have to make these mistakes to not make them anymore. It's inevitable. Every man has to be something that he looks back and wishes he wasn't, but then makes that conscious choice and sees that it's unprofitable for himself and other people that he deals with to be that way. You have to be a simp in order to realize that you were a simp. Now, if you continue to be a simp, knowing you're a simp, you deserve everything you get. But if there is a moment of clarity that comes your way and you have a light bulb moment, whether it's something that just happens naturally or I, pr and I produce a video that makes you realize, damn, I went through that. Be appreciative. Take the lesson, don't let it kill you, and move on and do otherwise. Omni Roma, thank you so much for the hundred dollars. Another huge contributor here. Making money turns me in <laughs> more than a birth canal. <laughs> hey, you heard that the other night, man? That birth canal? Shit, I'm right with you, fam. I'd rather lay on a bed of money than a bit a bed of bitches any day of the week. And not because money brings women. Fuck that. Never trust a man who prioritizes women and sex over all else. He is not trustworthy, and he should not be trusted for anything. Remember I said that. Omni Roma, thank you so much, fam. I know without a shadow of a doubt that I have clients right now, clients, paying clients that secretly hate me. And they don't hate me. They hate what they can't accomplish. Listen to me. It's not me. They hate what they can't accomplish. If they only knew, I'm not requiring you to accomplish anything. I am here to point a light on things. I am here to suggest some things that can certainly be productive for you in your situation. But to hate me, secret, I, I know for a fact that I have some clients that secretly hate me. I know this. I can feel the energy. I can see it in their unsustainable behavior. Fix that shit, man. You all know who you are, I, I, and I know who you are. And I say this because I'm actually an asset. Even a coach could be hated, man. Really, remember that. Even a coach can be hated. And guess what? You could hate me, but you should respect me. You think Tom Brady loved Bill Belichick? They probably hated each other at some points. But they respected the shit out of one another, and they still went out there and won.
you don't always have to like someone, but you should respect them and you should remain committed. And not just for your co but to yourself. Again, life challenges. Women are watching. If a woman is going to consider dating you long term, then she is also wondering how you would measure up as a life partner, as she should. You think, hey, listen, man, you fucking weirdos. You think a woman's just gonna wanna be with you forever because you look good and you can you can nail her a couple times and she can get off? You think that's it? You think women value that shit? You think you think women truly value that shit? They might value it for a couple nights, and then she sees what a loser you are with bad habits, and you you don't follow through on your commitment. She's not even a, she don't even want to fuck you anymore. And until you've been with enough women, you'll know that. Which is why I told you that a woman will occasionally, if she's going to do this, not all women, but some women, will cheat with a quote sexual alpha, but she's just using you, fam. You think she really likes, she's using you. If anyone's getting used, it's you. She probably secretly thinks this motherfucker's a gar this is a garbage dump this dude lives in. This dude's this dude's trash. Now, does it make her trash to fuck with you? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it does. Just like if you're willing to fuck with a trashy woman, does that make you trash? Absolutely. Without question. If you fuck with a trashy woman, even just for sex, you're a trashy dude. So equally, if a woman fucks with a dude that's a trashy guy, she's a trashy chick. If a woman is going to consider dating you long term, she also she is uh, then she is also wondering how you would measure up as a life partner. Again, she does have to be uh, concerned about if she gets pregnant by you, and if she's not, she's a fool. As we go through life, there will be inevitable challenges. That will that you will have to go through as a couple. It's true. People get sick. People get sick. People lose jobs. People get laid off. People lose family members that they're deeply uh, attached to. You got to be prepared for all of this. And I got a video coming out exactly about that. So she doesn't want to weather those storms by herself. She wants a strong man by her side. That's why she'll throw a shit test to see how you would handle adversity. She doesn't want to be the one who has to handle everything by herself. This is very true. It's very true. You think she's just doing it just to be mean. She's doing it to protect herself. And likewise, as a man, you should vet women and make sure that you're not financially investing, emotionally investing into a woman that doesn't have your best interest and isn't trying to equally put forth the same amount of effort as you. You shouldn't even do it. Number five, to see if you are worthy to continue dating. Now, you can't say this is unreasonable, right? That's what dating is for. We need to assess our partners to see if we want to continue seeing them or move on to someone, someone else. So she's checking to make sure you are worthy of her and you're not putting on an act. Do women have the right to make sure that you are worthy of them? They do. Do men have the right to make sure that women are worthy of, of them? Absolutely. Both sexes should be doing this. Bob Saget, $10. Shout out to the coach. This will save a, uh, a lot of guys. Uh, this will save a lot of guys a lot of pain. Bros, don't ignore this. It's one of the most important things. You're either going up or you're going down. No standing still. Never get complacent. Very true. Thank you, Bob Saget. For example, she might say things to test your confidence. She wants to know that you have good self-esteem and that you won't turn into an insecure, jealous, or controlling boyfriend. Disclaimer. Men are to lead the relationship. Women are to contribute to leading the relationship. 
I will say this. Women don't like this. Even some of my colleagues, some of my guest hosts, they don't like when I say this. And I understand. And I don't have a problem with that. That is their opinion. And it's perfectly fine. However, I'm going to tell you that in my opinion, and I have a lot of experience, men need to be leading their relationship. Which means sometimes there have there has to be boundaries. Let's not confuse being controlling with boundaries. Also, if you pick the right woman, she wants to do the things you do. I have to repeat that. If you have to coerce and tell a woman, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that, you are considering the, wa the wrong woman for a long-term relationship. Again, if it's casual, fine. You tell the woman nothing. It's none of your business. And equally, though, you should be uh, cautious who you see casually because you don't know what they do. You don't know who they see. And so you still have to have a certain level of understanding of who you're dealing with, even if it's just casual, because they can bring you an STD. They can. You need to know this. If you are in an open relationship or casually dating, those women are fucking other people. Those men are fucking other women. If they're not careful of what they're doing, they are bringing those things into your bed. You need to know this. It is not cute just to be fucking all types of people, especially if you don't know where the fuck they've been or what they're doing. You don't do it to judge them. You do it to protect yourself. There has to be boundaries. And when a man is leading the relationship and a woman is also leading herself, they will pick each other based on a lifestyle. We gel. We both don't go to bars. We both don't participate in things like this. We are a good match and we can see if this can go further. You don't go with somebody. Look, if you don't drink, you don't go to bars, you're not on social media, you should not be considering a woman who actively goes to bars. She's into the nightlife. She's on social media. That's not going anywhere. It's not. Not anytime soon. It's not. You're wasting your time. There has to be boundaries. The man needs to lead his, himself. The woman needs to lead himself. And if they get together, the, the man has to lead the relationship with his woman by his side. And they both have to enjoy that. And if they don't, then you should not be in a relationship with that person. If you're with a woman that does not enjoy your leadership, you should break up with her. Oh, but I'll be alone, coach. I'll have to start over. Well, keep wasting time then. I get it. There's some circumstances. Wait, there's some circumstances. It's a tough thing, man. It's tough. This is why I don't want you to impregnate women that that you are not compatible with. Look, because you get along three out of seven days doesn't mean that's a good relationship. The two of you have to respect one another. The two of you have to talk to one another. There has to be some level of sacrifice and compromise if you are in a relationship with someone. Some level. And the man should be the one doing the compromising. The woman, the man should be doing it. Here's why. Because you're leading. You don't wait on the one. Should the woman compromise? Of course. But the man should, should demonstrate compromise first to show the woman this is how it is to be done. You make a sacrifice. Look, again, are we going against like the big picture? No, we're not going against the bottom line. But some medial thing, so something that's uh, not too impactful, you got to choose your battles, man. You got to pick your wars. You have to realize, look, this is not a big deal. If I make a big deal, a deal out of this, I'm causing an unnecessary eruption and disruption to this relationship, and that falls on the man. You have to realize when your wife just likes this little thing or your girlfriend just likes this little thing, just let her have that shit, bro. It ain't going to kill you. But there are certain things that you don't jeopardize and you don't go against. And again, if your girl wants a lot of things that go against, you're not with the right girl. You're not. You're not with the right girl. It doesn't mean she's wrong. She, she's just not right for you. She's just not right for you. Men, hear me out when I say this. You have to be the demonstration 
of the standard before the woman comes and when the woman is there. You have to always be the standard. You do. Why are you guys waiting on women to do shit? They're not going to do it. Please understand me. Women are not coming in learning, knowing what to do for you. Jimmy in Dallas, $5. Because you get along three out of seven days doesn't mean you belong together. It's true. Guys be living in these little high moments. Oh, we have makeup sex. Man, fuck makeup sex, bro. I'm trying to have some healthy, peaceful sex. Make makeup sex is for two foolish individuals that enjoy that shit. You ever had some peaceful sex? You ever had some beautiful sex? <laughs> Where was I? Because no woman wants that. She wants a man who feels worthy of her and feels confident around her. Equally, a man wants a woman that is worthy for him. Problem is, too many simps in the world. You'll do anything for some, some snatch. You lose your balls. You lose everything. And then why do you want to blame the woman at the end? This is why I will tell you it always begins and ends with the man. But equally, it begins and ends with the woman, too, uh, uh, for her. I got to wrap this up. We've been on for a while here. Over two hours. It's time to go. How can you tell if it's a shit test? While a woman, while a woman are unique and have their own reasons for giving a shit test. They are usually in regards to these four categories. Number one, socially. Are you confident enough? How well do you command a situation or interact with your friends? Man, this, this is fucking big, man. You know you could turn a woman off when you're with her, but then when you include her in a social situation where maybe your friends are around and then you act all goofy with them, she could be like, ugh, that's who you really are? That's who you become when you're with your friends. You switch up like that. I am the same way with my mother, my best friend in Arizona, SN, everybody. I'm the clients, everyone, even business partners for whether it's a short time or not. I am always the same. That kind of person you can trust. But if you're switching up with depending on who you're talking to, whether you're a female or a man, you shouldn't be trusted. Real talk, even women, you women that switch up when you're with your friends and all that shit, you shouldn't be trusted. And equally, because the man has to set the example, you should not switch up. You you either are one thing or you're not. It's as simple as that. If you keep going around, bouncing around, different, different person in different situations, you don't know who you are. You don't have to like it, but it's true, man. This goes for men and women both. Now, to some degree, you know, th there is a level of, you know, accepting your friends to a certain degree, but you don't have to behave like them. It's one thing to accept a friend. They're in, they are something that you're not, but, but it's still a good friendship. But you don't have to behave like them. You don't have to do the things they do. And at some point, you really should make a decision. Has this friendship ran its course? It's a tough question, and it's one that everyone should ask themselves. Most women want a man who's confident and social, which today most men are not social because they just stay behind the black screen all day and they don't get out in the real life. And women are too. Women, women don't know how to talk. You talk to women, they don't even know how to talk. Not all, not all. I'm not going to generalize. But a, a large majority of the population, they don't know how to talk to anybody. They, they're so, they can't even talk. You talk to them, they're looking down. They lack confidence. They don't know what they want. I feel sorry if things continue this way in 50 years, if not sooner, bro. This is going to be a fucked up society we live in, full of antidepressants. And I don't want that, you know, miserable people, man. 
I'll probably be gone in 50 years. I, you know, I'll probably be gone. But she doesn't want him to be a shy wallflower who, who lets her take the lead. So she wants to see how you interact with other people and if you treat them with respect. This is indicative of how you are going to treat her, too. This is big facts. And equally, as we assess women, you can see how she responds to the waitress or the waiter or her mother or whomever. That is who she is in lots of ways. Now, if she's open to changing and following uh, your lead, she could make some changes, sure. She's going to want that. And she's got to be that whether you're there or not. Remember, I'm going to say this. I got to say this. If you switch up, depending on what audience you're in front of, you don't know who you are yet. And you need to sit down and figure it out, whether you're a man or a woman. And you certainly shouldn't be any kind of re committed relationship because it's inevitable that there's going to be a lot of problems in it because it lacks stability. Financially, number two, women want to test how independent you truly are and see how materialistic you are. Not all women want a man with lots of money. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> but they also don't want to support someone full time who doesn't have their own income. This is 100 percent true. And real talk, a, wo a woman just wants to know you can take care of yourself, that you're not going to be asking, can I borrow money? Now, if you contribute money for a project, that's different. But you asking for money, you should never ask a woman for money. Like, never. If she gives you money, she respects you. Remember that. If woman, a woman will give to you. You don't have to ask. She will give to you. Johnny, thank you so much for the super chat. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. Hope you're well, man. A woman will give to you just like a man will give to you. A man that appreciates you and that is enjoying this relationship will find out what you like and give to you. Will want to. But asking a woman for money, man, you need to go sit your fucking ass down and get to work, man. Get to work. Men need to work hard. Multiple jobs until you can find something that works for you. And you should still have multiple sources of income fuck out of here needing women for money and shit fuck out of here now again if she gives you money have i had women yes women have given me money gifts all kinds of that's because they appreciate me that's because they appreciate me and they want to give to me asking a woman. that's why i say never move in with a woman the fuck is wrong with you moving in with a woman you better make the ends meet like a motherfucker by yourself and truth be told, and a lot of guys might go against this, and I realize there's a time, but I'd rather you not even have a roommate, like a male roommate. Fuck that. That's emasculating too, sitting there with a dude, sharing a refrigerator. Fuck out of here. Get your own fridge. Make it work. Work your ass off, roommates. Fuck out of here. You won't respect yourself, man. When I moved out, I moved out, man. I got my own place. It wasn't extravagant. My first place was $6.25 a month in the ghetto. I had a liquor store across the street and a little corner store diagonal. I didn't give a fuck. I had my own spot. <laughs> I had my own shit. And it was a joy to furnish that place and to have my privacy and to pay my bills and to work hard so I could sustain it. This is why I don't feel sorry for these soft ass fucking keyboard warriors out here. Fuck out of here. You ain't done shit in your life to sit over here and have a fucking opinion with me. And I really mean that. Unless you're on my level or higher, you don't deserve to be here or comment. Now, if you want to come over here to learn, you're welcome to be here. But if you haven't done shit, fuck out of here. You don't even deserve to talk. You sit in the back and you shut the fuck up. And I mean that. And this is not ego. I mean it. You're not in a position to talk. Not yet. 
You're supposed to be listening right now. She doesn't want to be the breadwinner. Do you hear me? If a woman is the breadwinner, she doesn't respect you. Point blank, period. That's the way it is. Are there a few exceptions? Yeah, if she's heavily, heavily sexually attracted to you, she will overlook it. But at some point, it's going to be a problem. It just is. That can only last so long. It can go on for a while and she can overlook it. I'm telling you right now, if you have that sex appeal and you're hitting it right, it's there. It, it, she will overlook it. But at some point, if you fuck up or you begin to get fat or age or whatever, because sustaining that is difficult. And if you're sitting over there making 40 G's and she's sitting over there making 100 G's, she ain't going to respect you, fam. It's a matter of time. And to say otherwise, you're delusional. Nobody wants your little fat ass. Just because one, you lift a few weights, you still a fat motherfucker. You still a soft dude. She knows deep down inside you ain't shit without her. She knows you can't live by yourself and you can't do shit by yourself. And when a woman knows that deep down inside, she will not admit this, but she doesn't respect you. It's embarrassing for a man. I slept. I sleep on a woman's couch. Get the fuck out of here, you lazy ass motherfucker. You don't even deserve a man's respect. Sleep on a man, a woman's couch. Fuck is wrong with you? It ain't even about her. It's about you, man. Get a stable environment that you that you run. See you. See men. Men here in the manosphere, they're looking for confidence with them weights that don't talk. Motherfucker, you better look for some confidence in building something and creating something and sustaining something. That's where true confidence comes from. Knowing you could do this shit. Fuck out of here with your weights, little sissy ass. You know there's going to be a circumstance that comes to show you ain't shit because weights don't talk. And that's why most guys can do it. That's why most guys brag about that shit. I've been in a gym. The weights don't talk, fam. I'll put that shit on a shirt for you suckers. I, I'm not telling you not to work out. Keep yourself in shape. You got to defend yourself. You want your body to serve you for many years to come. And equally, at the tail end, sure, a woman enjoys it. Why not? Why can't she be part of the equation? But she shouldn't be at the front end. Jimmy in Dallas, $5. Here's what I love about you, coach. You never lie. Honest, honest as fuck. Hey, there's nothing to lie about. Thank you so much for that. I'm not going to lie to these dudes. I'm not. I'm going to tell you the truth. And guess what? It's not going to cost me anything. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get more in life from it. Just being honest. The ways don't talk back. That's right. Thank you, UG. I will repeat. She doesn't want to be the breadwinner. And you think, oh, I break her off some sex, bro. That's got that that's got a time. There's a time limit on that shit. <laughs> this because there's gonna be one thing you do where you look ugly to her. Listen to me. You want some game, motherfucker? Here, hey, where the women at? That sex appeal, and that little dick you think you're throwing now, bro. It's gonna it's gonna run its course. Just like women, their sex appeal runs its course for us. If you're a real man, it means nothing. If you're a simp, sucker, it means everything. What's going to happen is when she knows that she's the breadwinner and you're up in her crib, and you're just going to look ugly to her one day or you're going to do something or you're going to stink one morning. And she's going to say, this motherfucker either better make some more money or he's got to go. <laughs> There's going to be something that you're not upholding because you can't uphold and wear that mask all day, every day, okay? And she's going to look for it. She's going to see something. And then she's going to go, he needs to get up, so make some more money. I'm not supporting this motherfucker. Where are the women at to co-sign that? 
I know there's got to be at least three watching right now. It's true. Your little dick that you think is the bomb ain't going to last real long with a woman. She'll find something about you eventually to say, this motherfucker doesn't contribute. He's kind of a loser. What am I doing with this guy? I could do better. It'll run its course, fam. Just like that pussy runs its course. YouTube chill. That doesn't mean you need to be a millionaire, but you do need to be able to support yourself and have some ambitions in life. No woman wants a guy who is lazy, bad with money, or mooches off of her. Again, there might be a time where she enjoys the mooch because she feels she has control over the situation. There are some times where a woman or a man who, do, who wants to control a person will go with a person that has far less than them. But eventually, that will become a nuisance, and you will see. Number three, physically. Looks aren't everything, but most men's pride and ego come from physical appearance. This shit test is a way to see how you perceive yourself physically and how you fare with feats of strength. Let's face it. She doesn't want to wake up one year down the road to find out that you gained 100 pounds, never shower, and have completely let yourself go. She wants to be relatively assured that you're going to keep yourself in decent shape as the years goes on. Women the same. Men want to make sure you take care of yourself. No such thing as perfection. And the longer you deal with one woman and one man, and the more you've been through, and the more you've invested into one another, and the more you've grown, the more that actually some of those imperfections don't even matter anymore. But that's down the road, and I got a video coming about that, because other things become important. But in the intermediate, well, I would say within the first one to three years, yeah. Yeah, keep up with yourself. But you should always want to keep up with yourself, just for yourself. And you could keep your, and of course, keep your, keep your, your, your man and your woman in mind. But there will come a point in your life where the physical and the materialistic will become less important, and it's going to be the character, the trust, the communication. The like-mindedness, how you grow from one another, seeing that smile, you know, being there for each other during uh, moments and times of adversity. At some point in a relationship, that is going to matter more than how they used to look getting out of the shower. But in the intermediate, it does matter. Number four, mentally. This is not to test only your intelligence, but your ability to figure out her needs and values. Remember what I told you, you got to round a woman out. By disrupting your general habits and charm, it shows her how you really tick. Women need to be stimulated mentally. They like to have deep conversations and connect with men that way. So if you're going to play video games 24-7 and not talk to her, she won't like that and she's going to have somebody else on the side. Guaranteed. Even if she loves you. Even if she still loves you. She'll still have somebody else on the side. And unless you have enough experience, you won't believe that. You think a woman is going to constantly respect you, which is why a lot of people had problems with when I made the video talking about a woman could love and respect you but still fuck somebody else. Because you're naive and you don't have a lot of experience. And you haven't been the dude on the other side. Don't worry, ladies. Men, men go, <laughs> men do this too. She also wants to know that you are emotionally intelligent enough to know this and adjust your behavior accordingly. This is true. Should test examples. Example number one. I'm sure you just say that to all the girls. Wrong answer. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not some kind of player, so I think you misunderstood me. Right answer. Well, I have been practicing that line all day, so I, so let's hope it worked. I don't personally like that. I think that sounds unsure. If a, if you hey, listen, if you, I'm sure you say that to all the girls, 
One thing you could say is, listen, I'm upfront and authentic with everyone that I meet. So that little answer, the right answer, sounds sounds soft to me. If you are truly upfront and straightforward with everyone you meet, women, man, doesn't matter, then you could say, hey, listen, I am upfront with people when I talk to them. So what you just heard, if there's another person in the same position as you, they will hear something similar to that. That is the champion way right there. You don't have to justify it. You just say, listen, I'm straightforward with everyone I meet. So when I want something, I say it. When I don't want something, I say it. Far better than this bullshit they came up with here. I will call that some bullshit. Example number two, I bet you didn't even miss me while I was gone. Wrong answer. You don't know that. Of course I missed you. You're overreacting. Number five, what do you mean? I spent hours praying to the shrine I made with photos of you. See, simp shit. I made a video not too long ago where you text a woman and say things like, I didn't mean to keep you waiting, but I'm here now. Women want to deal with men that are honest. There is nothing wrong with letting a woman know clearly if the two of you are into each other that you're thinking about her, that she crossed your mind. So if a woman asks you, did you miss me? Why does she have to wait until you say that? Why don't you just tell her, I look forward to you coming back? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with telling a woman, you're coming back Friday, right? Good, I'll have something planned for us when you arrive. What's wrong with that? You know how you lose women? Pretending you don't like them. And guess what? You know how women lose men? Doing the same. You want to know why he cheats with the secretary? The secretary tells him, nice haircut. The secretary tells him, oh, you've been working out. The secretary tells him, great job on that, on that, on that deal. That's why. This pretending stuff to not like a woman or, 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 or look forward to seeing a woman is what makes you guys lose women. Again, if you're a simp, you're saying it like a simp. Clearly, this is simpish. What do you mean? I spent hours praying to a shrine. You, you're a beta and you, you, you lost women. Don't do that shit. <laughs> Don't do that. I will link this down in the description to give courtesy to this article and the person who wrote it, but that is whack. Number three, you're so weak, you probably can't even lift this heavy box. <laughs> now, you probably look like you can't lift the box is why she said that. So here comes the gym dudes. This is why I work out, bro. This is why I lift, bro. Yeah, I get it, man, but the weights don't talk. Wrong answer. Of course I can. It doesn't even look that heavy, and I'm pretty strong. You probably did some other shit or said some other shit. That made her lose respect for you. And that's why she said that shit. You're so weak, you probably can't even lift this box. A man should be strong. He should be physically strong. He should lift weights. Not so he could put on a spandex shirt and stand at the bar against the wall and be a fucking creep staring at women because the weights don't talk. But because, so you can lift things. So you can build things. So you can protect yourself. If a woman tells you that, you're probably a scrawny little bitch and you probably act like one. Right answer. I probably shouldn't. The last time I tried to lift a heavy box, I flexed so hard that I actually opened a time portal. I don't want an, uh, NASA call. Fucking terrible. F. You get an F. These are F responses. Good thing I'm giving you the right ones. Do you know how sexy it is to a woman when you open a jar for her? <laughs> When a woman hands you a jar, she's like, can you open this, babe? And you just click, hand it to her. Sexy as fuck. And it's something real simple. But just opening a jar. Lifting something. Holding something up so she can vacuum underneath. Hey, come here, babe. I'm going to vacuum underneath this couch. Come over here with the vacuum. 
All right, go ahead. And you lift up the couch and you hold it up. Or the mattress. Sexy as fuck, man. It's those little things, man, that turn a woman on. Those little things. Make sure you keep your responses lighthearted and don't lash out defensively because it never ends well. Don't say what you think she wants to hear or respond with fear or nerves. If you're able to twist the focus of the conversation away from negativity, you have a higher chance of passing the test. The best, the, <laughs> sound like Mike Tyson. The best, the best methods of passing a shit test. Here are some of the best ways to pass a shit test with ease that'll have her coming back for more. Girls who throw out their shit tests aren't fake or lying. They know what can happen when they are vulnerable around someone and want to protect themselves. These girls are smart. Show her you are worthy with these tips. There's some truth to that. She equally has to show you she's worthy. Both people have to prove worthiness and competency. Both people have to do it. Number one, scar sarcasm is your friend. Let's see what this shit says. Fight the urge to get incredibly defensive instead, and instead get sarcastic. Women love men who make fun of themselves. Man, this is wrong. This can work in some instances. I don't coach this. So far, by using uh, the self-deprecating humor, I am I'm not for that one bit. If you're doing it right from the jump, you never have to do that. You'll totally throw her off and possibly even able to make her laugh, which really helps. Now, look, as you progress into a relationship, there will be some instances where some of your little quirks and behaviors are funny. I'm going to share a few with you very soon. But for the most part, doing anything that's self-deprecating or making fun of yourself is a no-no in my book. It's one thing if your woman gets to know you so well inside and out that she can kind of predict something. Like there's some times where SNO will predict certain things I say. Like, for example, I'm like, did you wash that fork? <laughs> Listen to this. Like, I don't I, I'm not a clown in any way. I give instructions. You know, this is what I do. And I and before she'll like, you know, give me a fork to give me some food. I'm like, hey, did you did you rinse that fork off? And then now she's to a point where she knows what I'm going to say before I say it. She's like, yes, I rinsed your fork off just so you know. And I'm like, good girl. This is good. This is why I talk about that predictability, that positive predictability where a woman knows things you will not accept and things you will accept. She could predict those things. But to make fun of yourself, fuck out of here. It's a lot of game on this broadcast. A lot. Number two, reframe the conversation. Take control of the conversation by reframing what she says into a positive point. That's true. Once you flip the shit test on its head, it's it'll be difficult for her to reassert dominance in the situation. That is 100% true. 100%. Number three, steer into the skid. The second that she thinks you don't want to answer a question or you are running scared, come on, kick the game, she'll think you have something to hide. Facts, same with her. She defensive? Does she want to deflect? She has something to hide, potentially. Or she could be frustrated with the same talking points over and over. That can happen too. Confront the question head on and address quickly without flinching if you really want to see her stunned. This is very true. This, this is a man that knows exactly who he is. Number four, don't take it personally, which is very true. Dating can be tough for women as, as women want emotional connection and longevity in a relationship more often than not. Because of this, most women don't have any malice behind the shit test. They don't. I've been telling you guys this. They don't do it 
to put you in your feelings. However, because you listen to red pill fools, you get in your feelings and then you lose the bitch. Try not to get mad or upset unless you want to fail. Not all red pill content creators before some softy comes over over here. Do you not worry about the like the, the, the I don't give a fuck. Fair enough. Don't give a fuck. Number five, say it with conviction. If she thinks you're shaken, then you've lost. So don't ramble and give a half-hearted response. Speak confidently and show her you're you're the kind of man who's not afraid when thrown a few curveballs. Number six, amplify it. Whenever she throw whatever she throws at you, accept it and then amplify it. <laughs> this is the perfect non-reactionary way to pass a shit test. Because if you can turn her question around to seem absurd or like a joke, then she has nowhere to go with it. That can work as well. That can work. That can work. I don't necessarily teach that because I teach strength from the beginning with finesse, with assertiveness. However, I can see that can work. Number seven, don't accept disrespect. If she's just mean or rude, then stand up for yourself and tell her. If you demand respect without being nasty, it's likely she'll be taken aback and will respect you more than if you just look defeated. Also, is her disrespect warranted? I want guys to know this. Sometimes women disrespect you because you're being a poor leader in that moment. Or maybe you've been a poor leader for a couple of weeks and she's frustrated. I said this before, a woman's disrespect can be a great lesson for you. Women are great teachers if you look at it that way. Women don't tend to disrespect men that are consistent. Let me repeat that. Women don't tend to disrespect men that are consistent. It's when you're inconsistent that she disrespects you. And if you reflect on your experiences, you'll see that that's true. Sometimes a woman disrespects you because she wants you to be a man that is committed to what you say. She's fucking helping you out. Let her help you out. Hopefully you get to a point where you don't have to let her help you out. Number eight, adapt. Don't react. The second that you appear to have your feathers ruffled is the moment that you fail a shit test. Don't let your ego get in the way and just adapt your answers without resorting to petty remarks or bitter. I mean, maybe he meant jabs. It will definitely pay off. A shit test is sometimes difficult to maneuver, but however, with this guide, and with the champion game, of course, you'll be able to spot them quickly and understand them and reframe the situation and be well on your way to passing them with fine color, uh, colors. That is my time. I do hope that everyone who came here, 174 people watching, we appreciate you. Hopefully you gained some tremendous um, um, insight here today and you've learned a couple things. I want to thank every member for joining and being a consistent member here and not being flaky or flighty or too soft. Reevaluate who you are right here, right now, and make a decision. Who do I want to be? And then be that. You'd be surprised. It doesn't take a long time to become something. If you make a decision and that's it, you are that right now. And then the slow, little, subtle moves that you make will keep it firm in your life. You'll be planted. But you can make a decision right now who you want to become. And you can become that. You want to stop drinking? You can stop right now. You don't have to wait for a special moment. There is no special moment. That's all bullshit in your head. There are no special moments in life. The only moment that you have is the moment right now. 
and it can be special or it can be miserable. It's entirely up to you. If you want my mentorship in coaching, reserve time with me. ChampionGameCoaching.com, reserve time. Invest in yourself. If you want it, I got you. And you will go places. If you want it. Francis, $20. Thank you so much. Paying homage to the coach. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Anyone who receives benefit from this broadcast and you felt led or you feel led to give back the PayPal and the Cash App will be in the description. Give an equal proportion to the value that you received today. Carbonless, another guy I coached recently. I'm watching. Thanks for the live stream, EO. Thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video.